Alright, welcome back everyone to another review on Everything I Cafe. Today we're going to be reviewing a new music app called Songza. I'm going to launch it up here in the bottom left. What Songza does is basically makes playlists for you based on the time of day, uh, some other situational stuff. Uh, kind of like Pandora, but it's not based off of an artist or a song that you like. Rather, it's based on what time it is and kind of what you're doing. So let's just go through a couple examples and then I'll take you through the rest of the app. So you see, it's Sunday evening, right now, and it's saying, do you want to play music for cooking, uh, work or study, creating a cool atmosphere, summertime, spending time with your kids, eating dinner. Um, you see there's no uh, option here for creating an app review, so let's just choose creating a cool atmosphere. You, got, you get a secondary screen here that's going to say, okay, do you want to play blogged and trending indie, sophisticated R-pop, all these other options. Let's say we want to do... Uh, 60s bachelor pad, it sounds kind of fun. And then the final uh, options you're going to get here is to kind of refine it even more. And it's going to say space age bachelor pad, lounge exotica, 60s french pop. Let's click on the first one and see what we get. So it's going to give you a little review of the playlist that it's putting together for you. If you don't want this, there's a couple similars on the bottom. Um, or you can also favorite this one. So I can click that star to add it to the favorites. Um, I'm going to actually do that and, le and leave it so that I can show it to you later. Um, and then just click this play button to get it started. You'll see uh, music will start playing. So you notice a few things here. First of all, there's a little ad that pops up. This does have on-screen ads, but it does not have any audio ads. On the bottom, I can pause the music, go to the next song. I can air display, which is kind of cool. I can do a thumbs up or a thumbs down. One of these two, uh, thumbs up, will kind of give the app, you know, the recognition that you like this kind of music. Thumbs down will do the opposite, and it'll base your future playlists on that information. If you click in the top right here, it's going to give you that information again about the uh, playlist that's happening. And it'll also give you options to go to the other tabs along the bottom. So let's go ahead and try those out. If I go to my playlists, you'll see these are just the, the history of playlists that I've listened to. If you click on favorites, you'll see the one I just added there and another one are uh, both you know listed. If I click on friends, you'll notice this is what my uh, friends have listened to recently. Okay. Over on the popular tab, you can see what's uh, featured right now. You can see what's trending uh, from 1 to 10. And you can see an all time. Whoops, let me just go back there. And there's the all time. So you can click on that one and just go ahead and play that and switch your playlist up very fast without having to go to that first screen which was that concierge. Over in the explore section you can type in the name of the playlist that you're looking for. So let's say for example I'm looking for a uh, soft rock. So I could try typing in, oops. So you see a few options down here, uh, soft rock is listed. So I can click that, there's 32 songs, and I can click play. Alright, pretty cool. And then over in the settings, you can provide feedback, rate the app, tell a friend, you can create a sleep timer, which is pretty cool. So let's say you just want to listen to this while you're uh, going to sleep, and say start timer, it'll go off in 45 minutes from now since that's what I set it for. And uh, that is basically the app. Um, a nice uh, now playing screen will let you full size uh, the album art, which is nice if you just have this on a stand or something. And uh, it works very well. It actually creates very cool playlists that are you know, true to their names. And uh, I've been using this app a lot. It's free. Um, it's unlimited uh, music. So you know, I would recommend everybody uh, get this. It's a nice break from Pandora if you have the same stations and uh, listen to that a lot. It uh, gives you a new variety and a new way to listen to music. So, very good idea. It's very cool. I give it a 10 out of 10, and I think everybody should download it. Hope you guys enjoy this review, and I will see you guys next time.